gene transfer and in horizontal gene transfer we'll discuss how when one bacteria acquires a mechanism of resistance it spreads it throughout its brothers and sisters and this horizontal gene transfer are of two types horizontal gene transfer can be from one bacteria to another so it can be transferred from rather one bacterium to other to another bacterium so one bacterium to another bacterium so one bacterium another bacterium how they can transfer or there can be transfer of resistance within a bacterium within a bacterium in between the chromosomes and plasmids so when the resistance transfer takes place it can take place within the same bacterium in between its chromosomes and plasmids or there can be transfer from one bacterium to another bacterium so we'll have a look at both these mechanisms one by one first of all here let's have a look at how the gene or resistance is transferred from one bacterium to another bacterium there are three mechanisms here that we are going to discuss one is called as conjugation and guys remember conjugation overall it is the most common mechanism of drug resistance transfer conjugation what happens in conjugation you have two bacteria this is one bacteria bacterium this is another bacterium and within this bacterium here this bacterium it has its dna it is this dna as well as they have plasmids so this circular dna is plasmid and this one is the normal dna of the bacteria so, so let's suppose this one has resistance this is the gene causing resistance present in this bacteria so how it will transfer this to this bacteria first what they do here is they form a sex pili they will form here a sex pilus and through this sex pilus now this bacteria this bacteria will transfer it will transfer this plasmid with resistance it will transfer this plasmid with resistance from this bacteria to this bacterium and this resistance which is being transferred here via a plasmid via plasmid so drug resistant transfer drug resistance transfer which takes place via a plasmid is called as conjugation so here in your exams they can ask you or they do ask you what is the most common mechanism of horizontal gene transfer or resistance transfer your answer is conjugation or they ask you what is what is that in the bacteria that causes resistance transfer most commonly then your answer is plasmid so anyway either way your answer would be either plasmid or conjugation conjugation is the mechanism plasmid is the structure that causes gene transfer so conjugation guys is the most common mechanism second mechanism is called as transduction second mechanism is called as transduction and this transduction is a mechanism of gene transfer via a bacteriophage gene transfer via bacteriophage so how this happens let's have a look here okay suppose this is suppose this is a bacteria and this is the dna of the bacteria in this dna it has some genes here for drug resistance what happens now suppose this is a bacteriophage what ha what happens it has its own genetic material 
it has its own genetic material now what it does this bacteriophage it enters into the virus it enters so that it can replicate so it enters and after it enters it replicates inside this it replicates inside this bacteria using its dna and when multiple copies of this virus dna would be produced what it does with the help of with the help of bacterial dna when it replicates it can take a chunk of this dna which, which contains this resistance and finally it can break down and this bacteriophage when it is released here so multiple copies of this bacteriophage would be released here and when it is released here now now this bacteriophages which are released they have now they have resistance derived from this bacteria so I've, i have drawn just one bacteriophage here inside the bacteria because i don't have space here so here there would be hundreds of hundreds of this bacteriophage with this gene of resistance they would be released hundreds of them and now once when it is released this will infect another bacteria this will infect another bacteria which is perfectly normal here which is perfectly normal here without any genes of resistance now when it enters here what it can do now it can enter into this bacteria and transfer this gene of resistance so here it is a medium it plays a role of carrier for this transfer of resistance via bacteriophage and that is called as transduction the third mechanism is the simplest one and it is called as transformation transformation so guys let's try to understand what happens in this particular mechanism of gene resistance in transformation suppose this is a bacteria and this is his dna and in this dna it has this gene for resistance now because of some reason because of your antibiotic or because of some other insult this bacteria dies so it undergoes lysis so when it undergoes lysis its genetic material would be fragmented into multiple pieces and here even the gene containing resistance would also be fragmented into multiple pieces and now here there is here there is another bacteria and it is the gene of the bacteria the dna of bacteria now what this bacteria does from the surrounding from the environment this bacteria can this bacteria can take this gene of resistance and incorporate into its dna so this this mechanism of resistance by which due to breakdown or lysis of the bacteria the genes are released into the environment taken up by other bacteria gives resistance the simplest mechanism of gene resistance transfer is called as transformation so these are three mechanisms of resistance transfer which we discussed happens from one bacterium to another bacterium conjugation via a sex pilus through plasmid transduction via a bacteriophage and transformation directly from one bacteria to another bacteria because of lysis of one bacteria so this is the mechanism which happens from one bacterium to another bacterium now we will discuss about the resistance which happens or takes place here within a bacterium from chromosomes to plasmid so guys this transfer which happens within a bacteria or bacterium it requires two things it requires transposons and integrons so these are two structures present in the chromosome of the bacteria and also in the plasmid which are responsible for gene transfer from from chromosome to plasmid or plasmid to chromosome let's see how it happens first of all you need to understand what is a transposon and what is an integron in a bacteria so guys let's draw bacteria here once again suppose this is a bacteria 
and in this bacteria let us suppose this is the DNA of the bacteria and suppose these are two plasmids these are two plasmids and suppose this is the DNA of the bacteria this is the DNA of the bacteria and suppose these are two plasmids now first of all what are transposons guys transposons these are some segments which are present in the chromosomes of the bacterial DNA as well as these are segments which are present in the plasmid so these blue colored segments which are present in the chromosome of the DNA of the bacteria or they are present in the plasmid DNA these are called as transposone so I'll discuss in a short while these are transposons these blue colored structures are transposons we'll discuss in a short while what is the function of these these transposons they have these transposons they have in them small areas present in these transposons and these brown color areas which I have drawn here present in the transposons these are called as which are present which are present here the brown color structures which are present here these are called as integrons now they are called as integrons because they have an enzyme called as integrase and with the help of this enzyme integrase they have some function to do let us see what is their function guys what they can do they act upon gene cassettes suppose it is a gene cassette gene cassette are mobile genetic elements with gene resistance so this gene cassette it has genetic information for multiple drug resistance present in it now this gene cassette can be integrated it can be integrated via an integron which is present in a transposon and it this gene cassette containing resistance can be integrated both to chromosome of DNA as well as plasmid so here it can uptake it and then pass on these mechanisms of resistance pass on this mechanism of resistance to plasmid or to the chromosome of bacterial DNA so the function of integrons is to integrate to integrate a gene cassette containing resistance to bacterial chromosome or the plasmid chromosome by the help of an enzyme called as integrase so this integrase will integrate it so mind it integrons themselves they do not move they are static in the transposons they accept gene cassette for resistance but what is mobile here is this transposon what a transposon can do a transposon it can move a transposon can move from the chromosome of bacterial DNA to a plasmid it can move from one plasmid of the bacteria to another plasmid or it can move from plasmid of the bacteria to the chromosome in the DNA so guys this transfer of resistance this transfer of resistance which takes place in between plasmids and chromosomes all right plasmids and chromosomes this can also transfer resistance so once the gene cassette gets this resistance suppose the plasmid gets this resistance via integron then the transposon can transfer it to the bacterial DNA or it can transfer it via conjugation to another bacteria so guys this mechanism is where it takes place within the bacterium the gene transfer takes place with the help of transposons and integrons I guess so here to understand this you must have a clear cut idea what's a transposon and what an integron is so you have understood here that integrons they do not move 
but antigrons can move only if the transposons move so they move with the help of transposons they, they themselves do not move